All right, we are here at Gartner Data and Analytics Summit. Look who I have with me. It's one and only Justin. Uh, Justin, it goes long back when we collaborated on many things. Obviously, I've known Starbucks since such a long time, and uh, you all are doing amazing back then, now, and I see the future to be very bright as well. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here with you, in person. In person. Finally, we get to meet. And yeah. um, I'm excited to, you know, obviously learn more about what's happening in the space, what's next for Starbucks, but how about you introduce yourself, uh, and you not like you're an unfamiliar face to the data and analytics space, everyone knows you. But just a little bit about yourself, about a little about Starburst as well, what's yeah. new and happening there. Happy to. Uh, so I'm Justin Borgman, co-founder and CEO of Starburst. Starburst is the creator of the Trino project, which is a open source project that allows you to run SQL analytics on data in your data lake, as well as being able to connect to other data sources and federate queries across those data sources. So Starburst is the company behind that. We offer an enterprise version of the solution. And today we have a really easy cloud version that makes it just really easy to leverage the software and get going. This is fantastic. And I know you talk to a lot of data enterprise leaders as well out there. And uh, I would love to know a little about, you know, what uh, common data fallacies or misconceptions do you see organizations struggle with? And even the leaders uh, at a very huge level, I'm pretty sure they, they struggle with a lot of challenges too. Do you want to share any of those? Yeah, I think one of the biggest misconceptions still today is this idea that you have to centralize all of your data in a traditional enterprise data warehouse. And certainly that's the way we did things 40 years ago, but no longer needs to be the case. Now you have the opportunity to leverage open file formats like Iceberg or Hootie, uh, as well as to be able to federate and access query data directly where it lives. So this idea that you have to pull it all together into one proprietary warehouse before you can analyze it, it's no longer the case. And I think people are starting to really realize that. Okay, that's fantastic. Thanks for that insight. So also, since beyond this topic, obviously there's been a lot of chatter about you know, the openness, the data openness. Yes. And uh, whether it be on the data lake house or just you know, the open data architecture. Yep. Uh, so what are the benefits of building towards the open data mindset? What values do you think the companies uh, achieve out of that? I think the biggest thing is people don't want to be locked in to a proprietary platform. Right. Uh, I think that's the history of our industry is for 30 or 40 years. Uh, we have trapped our customers in proprietary database systems, and those systems become expensive over time, they're monolithic, and really don't uh, adjust as the times and technologies evolve. And so the beauty of open source and open standards is that now you own your own data. You know, if, if you leverage Iceberg, for example, you own that data. If you leverage Trino, the, the query engine that, that we're the creators of, you have the ability to run that yourself someday right. if you need to. And so you always have this escape hatch, this off-ramp if you need to, and I think that allows you to create a architecture that can really stand the test of time. These technologies are also interoperable, so you can swap out your storage. Maybe you go from Iceberg to Hootie, or you go from uh, Hootie to uh, you know, uh, data on-prem to data in the cloud. And yeah. You know, by storage compute separation, you have that flexibility to mix and match these pieces. So I think you really want to build an open architecture to the, to the maximum extent you can. Okay, this is, this is great info. Uh, Justin definitely helps our audience to at least understand about the openness and how things are evolving very quickly, right? Uh, that, that also brings me to something around, you know, I'm pretty sure the organizations out there would love to know a little about, you know, what steps they can take if they're working with complex data ecosystems that uh, that can you know that they can start uh, to integrate uh, openness and op optionality within their existing data uh, I think one of the best places to start is with your data lake that you may already right. have uh, again I would pick an open file format maybe that's parquet today maybe it's iceberg tomorrow and then really start to uh, develop your competency leveraging that lake as your warehouse or, or lake house as people are calling it. Yeah. Uh, and then from there, you can start to branch into the other data sources that you have. Uh, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. I think that's another important thing to remember is you can uh, you know, go through your transformation in phases. Right. And the beauty of federation and being able to access data anywhere is even if your ultimate goal is to go with a lake house in the cloud, 
you can do that in phases and still access the data that you have today. Yeah, exactly. That's that's a valid point there. Thanks for sharing that. Also, that brings me to something which is also about the future of you know data architecture, future of uh, Starburst as well. Like I would love to know a little about that. How are you seeing space evolving? Because in the AI world, yeah. like. I feel every day I get up with a new message around a, a new update in AI. Yep. But uh, there are enterprises who are really looking to implement a lot in AI and invest in AI. So how are you looking at that? How are you looking at the AI strategy for enterprises? Yeah, I mean, I think the first thing is making sure you have your data strategy right. Right. Uh, I think that's the, the precursor to your AI strategy. You, you know, your models are only going to be as good as the data you train them on. And so having access to all of the data in your enterprise is going to help you have the best models, uh, the most uh, accurate and differentiated you know, AI that, that you can have. And I think that's where we're moving now as an industry is how do I create proprietary advantage from a business perspective, leveraging the data that I already have, right? Yeah, yeah. ChatGPT is fun to play with, but that's trained on the internet and everybody has access to Access it, to that, right? right. So how can you leverage your own proprietary data? And we want to be that kind of infrastructure layer that provides access for those 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 AI uh, projects that you put into play. It's fantastic. If folks want to learn more about it, where can they reach out to you? Where can they learn more? I know Starbucks has a lot of content out there, a lot of resources. Yep. So where can they do that? Yeah, so you can certainly check out our website, starburst.io. Uh, I also wrote a, a recent blog post that's oh, wow. called the uh, Ice House Manifesto, and this is basically about this idea of creating an open data lakehouse leveraging Iceberg and all the things you need to think about if you're going to build a data warehouse around Iceberg. So check that out as well. You might find it on our oh, website. Wow, that's awesome. I love when CEOs actually write blogs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you're doing that, you're winning hearts <laughs> <laughs> for sure, Justin. But this is great. Thanks for, you know, again, sharing all the insights. And uh, it's always fun chatting with you. Always fun knowing more about Starbust as well and where the space is moving. So looking forward to chatting more. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be catching up at many more places. I think Starbust is at Data Universe, Google yes. Cloud, yes. Uh, Snowflake. Uh, I'm not sure, <laughs> but we're at least those, those other two. <laughs> uh, just kidding, but uh, love what you're doing, Justin, and thanks again for visiting The Robert Show. Sounds great. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks.